Uh, Tony's in Westchester. What's going on, Tony? How are you today? Good, Tony. What's up? Long time fan, boomer, watched you for years. Thank you. This is a sad day for NFL. This is so upsetting. I can't even, it's just mind boggling. He could have killed that quarterback last night with that helmet. Uh, well, Tony called in and he said he was very upset about watching what happened with the Miles Garrett last night. And uh, he said that uh, he uh, cried over it. And when I thought he was kidding, he was very adamant that he did start to well up and cry about the incident. So at that point, I said, this man must go on the air. I can't get over it. It's, it's just, they have to do something drastic. This guy should be thrown out of the league. It's just, there's no way in the world he should play another game in the NFL. Yeah, he Tony. killed this guy. I mean, Tony, you watch the NFL your whole life. There's an expectation of respect that's there, right? Every, every time you exactly. put on a game. Al put in the subject line that Tony was crying about the Miles Garrett thing last night. So once I heard that, I'm thinking, all right, we have something here. Maybe if I ask him a couple of different questions, he'll cry on the air. I mean, and he was serious about it. He started, he started breaking up live on the radio. Yeah, it was emotional. Tony, I mean, you, this, this, really, this really hit you hard, man. I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. This, this is not good. Not good for football. You have a choice when a guy starts crying on the air. You can either laugh or you can be serious about it. I think our reactions were somewhere in between. I wanted to respect Tony's emotion, but at the same time, I mean, there's a grown man crying on the air about something that happened in a football game, albeit a, a brutal thing. But, Tony, we're with you, man. We're thinking of you, and we hope you can get through this difficult time. He was emotional. Yeah, and you're not this a you're not, not a Steeler or a Browns fan, right, Tony? You're I'm just not. a football fan, no, I'm right? Not. Yeah, I'm a football fan, a player fan. I love watching great football. I mean, I come from the same standpoint as Boomer does. Okay, mm. this is you know, where's the class? Where's the respect? Hey, Boomer and uh, Gio, I thanks for taking my call. I just, you know, it's been a long week. You know, the Astros they were banging on their garbage cans and the. Browns are banging on each other's heads with their helmets. And, you know, it's just like, what am, I, what am I going to tell my kids? How are we supposed to watch sports with them? I just, I just don't get it. Yeah. Well, no, we appreciate yeah. the call, Tony. I mean, and, you know, it's amazing to me that it would, Tony would get to the point of, you know, fighting back tears, but that's how much it meant to him. And that's how upsetting it was. <clears throat> you know, I mean, and I don't want to downplay, you know, Tony's emotions there because obviously he was severely affected by it. That, that's how I'll tell you what bad of a look it was, that you uh, got a guy who's watched football his whole life was was essentially crying on the radio the next morning. Well, the reaction from the players in the league tells you what they think about it, and obviously nobody nobody is supporting it. Yeah, I know. It's bad enough when you see your guy, just your son or whatever, get tackled hard. Another thing to see him get smacked in the head with a helmet, you know, at the yeah. hands of a, a, a giant maniac. 